Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Habib Ali and I am an ICT tutor by profession. Welcome back to another lesson. So in today's lesson we are going to be learning about how to apply settings so that chosen titles would automatically print at the top of each page. An interesting lesson. Let's have a look. So we are back on our office budget worksheet and I have just simply copied and pasted a lot of these expenses. So I just duplicated these. This is why, just in case you're wondering why are they very similar. I've done that on purpose to demonstrate today's lesson and the understanding that will come with it. So let's go straight to the question. The question is asking us to apply settings so that the titles on row number three would automatically print at the top of each page. So we've got something on row number three, some titles that needs to be printed automatically at the top of each page. Let's have a look. Okay, so on this worksheet, let's go straight to row number three. This is our row number three. It's got the headings June, July, August and total and the question is asking us to somehow print these headings at the top of each page when we print this worksheet out. Now before we apply such things let's have a quick look at the print preview and see whether row number three these headings how they are being printed at the moment. So let's go to print preview. So we've got row number three there. We can see June, July, August and total. If I scroll down, we've got a second page. So if I go to the next page, let's see what's on there. So on the next page, we've just got some figures and a couple of labels, but without the first page, having these headings over here on the second page we would not be able to understand straight away what these values are actually referring to or belong to so somehow if we were to be able to repeat or print this headings row number three automatically at the top of page number two somewhere down here wouldn't that be a great idea that would definitely make the reading of this information on page number two a lot easier. So let's have a look and see how we can do this. So back on the 2002 worksheet, now the best or the easiest way to apply this lovely neat setting so that we can ask Excel to print this row number three headings automatically on every single page. Um, in this spreadsheet, I know there's only two pages, but you could be working with a spreadsheet that's hundreds of pages and it's got a lot of data going downwards. Now, can you imagine without having these headings at the top of every page, how would you work out what all these values mean you will have to constantly refer to the first page and look um, look at which whether this data belongs to june july august or even total um, we'll discuss that a little bit more in a minute if you haven't fully understood yet but let's go ahead and apply the setting now again under in the ribbon in the page layout tab in this lovely group like I discussed in the previous lesson there is a lovely setting here called print titles so we're gonna go ahead and click on there when we click on print titles it just brings us straight to the sheet tab again now under the sheet tab we've got an option here that says print titles we've got a setting for rows and columns but we won't be discussing columns today but if you understand how to apply the row, um, the rows to repeat at the top, surely you can understand how to do this. So it's asking us, you know, rows to repeat at the top is asking us which row do you want to repeat? 
So all I have to do, instead of manually typing it in, you can do using dollar sign three colon dollar sign three, but I'm not going to type it in. I'm going to let Excel do the job for me. So all I have to do is click on this arrow and then simply select the row number that I want to be repeated at, at, at the top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on row number three. When I click on row number three, you can see straight away it puts in a dollar sign number three, colon, dollar sign, and the number three. So you could have typed it in, but why type it in when Excel is going to do it for you? And then just to accept, you click on the arrow again, and you can see straight away it has put this setting in for us. Now is the time to test this out. So I'm going to click on print preview to have a look. Okay, so we're back in pre and preview. So this is page one. Now on page one, we have the original row number three with the headings. Now let's go over to page number two and let's see if that has happened or made that change that we wanted. Look at that. So at the top of page two, row number three has been added automatically with the headings that comes with it. Now, if you were to read this information on page number two, you will understand that this value is always for June and this value is for July, etc. It makes a lot more sense when you're reading the printed version of this worksheet now this is like i said to you earlier there's this in this example that i am using that is there is only two pages you could be working with a spreadsheet or a worksheet that goes down by hundreds of pages now having certain titles printed at the top of each page will make a massive difference in you understanding the values for each of these printouts it makes it just that more friendlier for anyone to understand and read the data from a printed version of a worksheet. Now, so quickly just go to the question. You can see here it was asking us to apply the settings on uh, for the titles on row number three. So we have done that. So this is straightforward. If you haven't understood, please do leave me a comment in the comment section and I will try to clarify it for you even further. Other than that, this is the end of today's lesson. So I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson and uh, give us a like and uh, share this uh, video so everybody else can benefit from it as well. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have not done so. So until then, I, please do take care of yourself and I shall see you over in the next lesson. Goodbye for now.